you got the e-brake off? <laughs> party people what is up I've already actually been out here for about three days in the middle of the desert uh, we'll talk about where here in a little bit we're out here shooting a commercial for brown owls right now um, so this is kind of cool right like this is my very first paid video gig ever <laughs> Climbing that mountain, I'm out of breath. Check out this dune right here, right behind me, that's crazy. We're gonna be doing a commercial for Brownells for something that they're gonna be pushing in a little while. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little vlogging and we're gonna talk to everybody, see who all's here, and then we're gonna do some cinematic B-roll, you know, in between to kind of give you guys an idea of what the commercial could possibly look like. It's obviously not guaranteed that it's gonna look like that because, <sighs> sorry, I gotta catch my breath. Oh, I'm tired. So much walking. I don't know where exactly we are, but we're in California somewhere. We've already come through some amazing mountains. I'll show you guys some B-roll of that here in a little bit. We're, we're also with Yeti and Yolo, if you don't know who they are, I'll link to their Instagram. They're basically professional adventure people in the Jeep world. I'm really excited that I had this opportunity to just hang out with great people and get a chance to go on a one week, AKA vacation more like a workcation. We're actually camping. I don't know how well you guys can see it. So that's where the base camp is right now. And I'll show you guys what we're sleeping in and everybody that we're with. I think Josh is looking like he lost his only friend. <laughs> nice. I don't know if you guys know Josh. We're shaking, ladies and gents. But he's majestic. Indeed. He got the Kill Bill beard. That's I'm legit. a wizard, actually. He's a wizard. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> this guy is the Yeti hey. right here. How you guys doing? This is the, uh, the master off-roader. We're actually in a rental because they left their rig where they live back east. So this is a rental Jeep. I'll show you just a quick clip of the footage of us jeeping in this thing. But this is a 100% bone stock Wrangler. I can't believe the stuff we did in this little <laughs> OEM Jeep. This is Yolo. Hey guys. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. I told her, she was like, don't worry about it. If your face doesn't look great, it's fine. No one's judging. Let me show you the base camp. Whoa. No, Speaking of base camps. <laughs> See how lightweight all our gear get for not tacking it down, but hey, it's not bad. So like straight up, we have already been out here like what, three nights, I think. And we haven't had to stake our tents down, but a, a gust of wind, as you saw, just blew her tent. But we're using these little, uh, pop-up tents like there's no poles to mess with see if you can see this these guys fold up kind of like those uh sunscreens you put in your windshield of your car no 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 i got all my stuff in here it's the way to go yes way better than a normal so yeah these are awesome unless you know you got a family of five but uh yeah that's where we're sleeping i got all my stuff in there so the biggest challenge that we really had out here or the challenge that i was wondering was how do i keep all my battery stuff charged because i'm out here for seven days I only have like four batteries for my B-roll camera, four batteries for my vlogging camera, three batteries for the drone, which every time you use the drone, it kills a whole battery. So I was like, how the heck am I gonna keep everything charged? Thankfully, the Yeti rigged up some cool contraptions. So this is the one that the Yeti, he created. This one is one I bought on uh, Amazon. This thing has like 40 something thousand milliamp hours. And it, I've basically gone all the first 
two nights without having to charge it and it's been charging all my gear but it died yesterday and we thought it was charged and it wasn't so i'm gonna have to wing it today but you guys are in for quite an adventure in this video right. let's do this Looks like we got a little stuck. Came up over the crest. I was just bragging about the capabilities of this stock Jeep. Just to give you guys a little perspective. So yeah, that's fun. I will vlog again once we're unstuck. All right, so quick update. We got some help. I had to walk kind of down here to the bottom of the hill. Everybody's at the top. It's so windy up there, I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me. But I'm gonna take you guys up there so you can see how we're gonna get unstuck. This is gonna be crazy, I'm excited. So basically, this Jeep at the bottom of the hill right now has a broken axle, so like it's only in two wheel drive mode. I guess what the goal is, is they're gonna pull it with that using the straps and they're gonna bring it down. Wish us luck. Feather it so we don't dig type thing. Oh, it's dug. We don't want to <laughs> dig it anymore. Yeah, the whole center is completely dug. You gotta right. get that back end around. Yeah. Uh, safety. Those wheels. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got no the e brake off. <laughs> That's awesome. We're out. Now I gotta hike back up, get the rest of my camera gear. Let's do this, Yellow. Huh? Master spotter. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, I gotta climb the giant mountain of death. Wow, this thing is freaking, oh gosh. Woo. I gotta start working out again. Thanks again, brother. What was your name? David John. Good to meet you, brother. Thank you. Sometimes I make this life All right guys, so you kind of missed out on a lot yesterday because you remember when we got stuck in the desert on the sand dunes? Well, we went to the Salton Sea and we got stuck again on the beach. Uh, what we didn't realize was on the Salton Sea beach, the water table was 10 inches below the sand. I got a very, very short little video clip of that, but I'll show that to you right now. Anyways, today we are at the top of a cliff. Let me show you this real quick. Okay. Warm. So yeah, that's where we are. This is where we camped. We already packed up our tents and stuff. I might have a couple of photos that I can flash on the screen to show you. But we're actually going to head back to the Salton Sea today because when we got broken down yesterday, it kind of like just killed the vibe. And we're going to go back and fly a drone and get some other cool B-roll. I will kind of like flash that here in a little bit so you guys can see it. I think Josh is posing for a photo. Not really sure. Photos. Yeah. Angry as fuck. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, definitely. Yeti looks like he's squatting. There he is. All right. But yeah, so, yep. Yeah, we're just waiting on uh, Yellow. I already got my tent picked up because I'm a boss like that. Let's go in the tent here. Warm. This is uh, <laughs> Cribs edition. 
YOLO edition. Here's all the gear. But yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I just didn't feel like vlogging the rest of the day yesterday. But yeah, so we left. Oh, well, let me back up, actually. We went to, what's the name of that mountain with all the paint? I'll show, yeah, we went to Slab City, Salvation Mountain. Then we went to Bombay Beach, Salt and Sea. And then we went to a gas station and ate. Then we came up here, this beautiful wonderland. I don't know how far off this drops off. Let's go look. This is the cook. Thank you. <laughs> he makes some badass, I don't know what they were. They were like muffins or something. I don't know what I ate, but it was delish. Uh, English muffins. English muffins, yeah. We gotta move pretty quick though, because behind me, looks like a rainstorm coming in. Oh, you guys gotta see the herpes that our Jeep has right now oh, from like the Salton Sea. It's, it looks like our, our rig has genital warts right here. Let me show you. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. So yeah, that's where we are right now. And then we'll vlog a little bit later, but let's cut to some B-roll. So we just found this really cool spot. Check this out. All these palm trees. We're gonna try to get some video footage over here. Maybe throw, we're gonna throw the drone up, see what we can get. We're close to the Salton Sea, and then after here, we're gonna get some B-roll drone footage of the Salton Sea. Let's see what we get. Actually, I've been doing a really horrible job at vlogging on this trip. So much has happened since the last time we were getting the footage from the Salton Sea. Wow, what all did we do? So after the Salton Sea and getting that drone footage, we went to this really cool like obstacle course for rock crawlers and all kinds of off-road stuff. We got some awesome B-roll over there. Then we went through the Badlands and the Mud Hills. Then we camped out one more night at the same spot that we were at. Then yesterday we came down to an area in Borrego Springs and we stayed at this really cool little quaint hotel. In this little hotel, it's very much catered to off-road people. They had Polaris's there that you could rent. There were so many dirt bikes and it was just awesome scenery. So yeah, it, this this trip has actually been amazing. You know, we're already on day six. It's basically the last day. We're gonna, we stayed in a hotel last night. We're gonna stay in a hotel tonight that's near the airport in San Diego and then we're all flying out in the morning. The rental Jeep still has salt and sea 
all over it. It's basically a bunch of crushed fish bones. So yeah, check it out. All this stuff yeah, I know. That's... is all fish bones and mud. <gasps> and okay, there's Yolo's butt. Oh, I will edit that out. <laughs> you do not want to see that. Just kidding. You probably do, yeah, but you're not gonna. We're basically getting everything repacked. We gotta hit like the UPS store here in a little bit. And we gotta get everything packed back up, shipped back to where we live. And then we're gonna fly out with the stuff that we're allowed to take on planes. But essentially the B-roll that you guys are seeing in this video, they will probably be part of the main commercial edit, but I don't know yet. We're gonna work on that and get that all approved for Brownells for them to use it on their YouTube channel and their social media. But I really wanted to bring you guys along with me because you know you know, I love you guys. You know, we always have a blast. But anyways, we gotta get packed up. We gotta go do, to the UPS store and then we're gonna be doing some other cool shit. So we're gonna wash the Jeep before we take it back. Well, she needs a little bit of bath. Yeah. 